If you go to my AC, Aaron Carter, or live stream folder on the playlist, you will see this video. You need to watch it. You need to listen to Aaron Carter and what he says. And yes, this video will be tired. Leave Aaron Carter alone and listen to him. Stop saying he needs help and he's a druggie and all this bullshit. He's not Justin Bieber. Just because Justin Bieber, you know, was alcoholic and was doing drugs and being a bad boy and doing bad things to, to everybody. Like, Justin Bieber used to go, I'm fine. And he would just go do concerts and, and he would sing and then be mean to his fans. And then do bad things to say, I'm fine, I'm fine. Aaron Carter is fine. Aaron Carter says he's fine. He deleted his Twitter because of, of you guys not leaving him the fuck alone. And he's probably sick and tired and having to block you. Dumbass people who say, I'm a fan. You can be a fan even though you think he needs help. No, you cannot. If you don't believe him, then you ain't no fan. And I will read you some tweets from this bitch. Um, but he, he's fine. And when he says he's fine, he even shows it. He's, he's nice to his fans at concerts. He doesn't do bad things. So, I don't know. And I know you guys know this Shovel Pixel person who has problems, who is making money off of Aaron Carter. And even Aaron Carter says in this video, that he's sick and tired of people making money off of him. That means you. Stop with your, oh, if you want to see the rest of this video, you need to pay me a dollar on Patreon. Like, fuck you. Not gonna happen. That's why people love this other channel better, because they post the whole thing and not make money off of Aaron. But anyways, here's part of the video. Okay. And we're back. You guys hear me yet now? Uh, you know, waking up every day and and, and, and cleaning things and, you know, I, I, I've been up <laughs> for, I went to bed last night finally, getting, you know, I gotta, people have to take care of themselves, they, they, they have to get their own lives together, and you can't force anyone to do it. Uh, I... Look, I, 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 I love, I love taking Xanax. I love doing that, that stupid hot thing shit. But that's the problem with the dish. Is that you don't, you don't need it. Don't, don't let it in your life. You know what I mean? I, I personally don't want that kind of outcome. Google it. If you want to know what that is? Google it. I'm not here to, to educate to educate on that right now. I'm, I'm talking about my, my real, who I am. I'm not, not what I'm here to do. So many people, oh, you should do a radio show, you should do this, you should do that. You guys see what I'm, I'm not here to make money off of my fucking shortcomings and my problems. Shortcomings, meaning the addictions, the things I've done wrong. Uh, I've been to rehab fucking three times. I made it out alive, guys. It fucked me up. All the fame, all the shit. That's why I got so mad on that reality show on marriage boot camp. I'm on the season right now. And I kept it 100 all across the board. I didn't care what anybody thought. I didn't care what they said. I don't give a fuck. Because you're not me. You don't want to be me, girl. And it's okay. I'm okay. I'm fine. I just, I get hurt, I get mad, I get sad, I'm emotional, I cannot be a human being. I can't be a human being. You don't want my life, you know, you don't want it. I have to, I have to, I have to deal with this pain. You have a 90 year old man in my stomach. So you see that, 
that bone right there, that's because my stomach right now is in my chest, guys. It moves. When the stress is really bad, it moves from here. And anyone who's got that... I wanted to show everybody I could do a cartwheel. Be people go, wow, that was so cool. Focusing on myself. I'm not focusing on anything else. I don't want anything to do with my, my fucking family. I just want my mama. That's it. I just want my mama. And my mama is always over my heart because of nothing. A microphone here. I don't... I'm all music. When I am gone, and I do die, fuck that. Don't ever think you need friends, you need family. Bob Marley said that. I refuse to read them. Okay, hopefully you get what I'm saying. He's starting to talk to fans and stuff in that video. And this bitch here, um, okay, hold on. Where is the bitches? Oh, okay, here's the bitch. Don't talk to it, it's just me because she is a bitch. And I don't care if you can see me or whatever. How many minutes is this video? Okay. If I can, okay. So let me read it to you. Now they're gonna be out of order, so I need to find the last one she said. Oh, yeah. Here's what, okay. Here is not, he is not well physically or emotionally you should not be abling him how am i abling him by agreeing with him when he says he's fine you're not listening i even sent her a link of this of the video that you just saw and said you need to listen to him what part of listening to what he has to say do you not understand you're not even listening to me you're not a fan if you're sitting there calling him a druggie and he's sitting there saying he's not because he will block your ass just saying anyways she says you can still be a fan but don't believe everything he says so you're saying everything that comes out of Aaron's mouth is a lie well that's not being a nice fan addiction and does that deserves anyone the thing they can get on their side I don't know what she means by that but then she says you apparently have no clue about addiction. Um, you don't know anything about addiction. She And she claims she does by saying this. My family has been dealing with one for seven years. Um, just because your family has dealt with one for seven years doesn't mean you know what addiction is. If you were never addicted, you don't know. I was never addicted, so I don't know. But, I'm going to believe somebody when they say they're fine. And they show it. Um, he's been on the doctor, I don't know how many times, doing drug tests. So, why can't you believe him? And, people keep thinking this is a show. Aaron Carter's real life is not a show. The things that, this, that these fans post from his live streams are not a show that you're calling it. It's his real life. And you guys just don't understand that. And then I told the bitch, I said, just because you want him to be in trouble and be on drugs so you can say, hey, I helped a hot celebrity, a hot famous person that go me, go me. He's now not addicted anymore because of me. Like, why would you want to be proud of something like that? I'm like, so I, I blocked her myself after all this. And I said, oh, you're not replying back to me? Because you know I'm right. So. Anyways, the rest of what she says here is, he is not well. It's okay for you to admit that. Pray for him to build himself back up and get help. But don't be a slave. She's not making any sense. And she's talking nonsense. And she's telling me how to be a fan to Aaron Carter. Um excuse me, you're not going to go around telling Aaron Carter fans not to be a fan of Aaron Carter. Or say, you can still be a fan, but not like what he's doing. Um, no. When you're a fan, you have to like everything he's doing. That's why I stopped being a Bieber fan, a hardcore, obsessed Bieber fan, 
back when he started doing alcohol and being mean to his fans and doing shitty shit. Now I'm just kind of sort of a fan. A fan that doesn't really care that much about him as much as I used to. Because he got his life together finally. But anyways, moving on. And then she puts in quotes, being there for an addiction does not help him. What addiction? He doesn't have one. He's been sober. He said he's been drug free for two years. He's been on the doctor to prove it. Why can't you listen to him? This is why he gets so frustrated, so upset. This is why he delete, deleted his Twitter. This is why he goes on live streams on Instagram, which I wish I could be there for. And says stuff like, you know, and starts crying and stuff because you guys ain't listening. And then you call him a wimp and not a man because he cries. Like, he's allowed to cry. You heard him. By the way, I never called him a druggie. Well, saying that he's addicted, which has to do with drugs, is saying he's a druggie. Just saying. You know, deep down, he's in trouble. No, you know deep down he's not, and you wish he was, so you could help his ass. Because you want to say, I hope the hot slap famous person, when that's not something to be proud of. It's okay for you to admit that he doesn't make you any less of it. It doesn't make you less. Actually, it does. When you say he's in trouble and he needs help and all this stuff, that is making you less of a fan. I went through it with Bieber, and now I'm going through it with Aaron. But the difference is with Aaron, I still am a hardcore obsessed fan of Aaron Carter. Not with Bieber because of what he said. And I replied to something she said down here about Bieber. I mean about Aaron, and I don't remember what it is. Let me see if I click on here and it shows it. But how many times does it, and I even said, how many times does it, Aaron Carter have to say he, it, say it, he doesn't do drugs anymore. Has not been for two years. Aaron Carter doesn't suck. He deleted his Twitter. That's what I first told her. Because she was saying that he sucked. She said something about hashtag he sucks. I don't know where that message, oh yeah. The tweet is unavailable. You know why the tweet is unavailable? Because I called her out. About her saying that he sucks. And she deleted it because of that. You need a man up. She needs to man up. Even though it's a girl, maybe it's a boy, I don't know. But they need a man up. Once you make a tweet, you should never delete the tweet. You should be proud of that tweet, no matter how bad it is. Or how, or if someone calls you out, so what? Leave it up there. I hate people who make tweets and then delete them after someone calls them out on their shit. They do it with Evil Dick from Big Brother all the time. But that's our conversation. You can go to my Twitter to read them if you want. Um, I don't know when this video will go up, so good luck with that. Um, I will talk to you guys later. I gotta get going, but yeah, she... You guys just need to leave Aaron Carter alone. Just leave him alone. He didn't do nothing wrong. He just wants to live his life. He's not doing drugs. You guys need to listen and believe him. Later, haters.